You have cancer. Probably three of the most dreaded words any human being can hear. Too many people are hearing these words. My name is Christine Blanche. I'm a physician assistant. I've been practicing medicine for 20 years. Emergency medicine, surgery, critical care. But it wasn't until my family got sick that I realized I didn't have the tools that I needed to heal them. I didn't know enough. So I embarked on my journey. What I realized is, wow, I didn't know a lot. I didn't know about nutrition. I didn't know about the link to stress, nutrient deficiency, toxins, that these things are making people sick. They're the answer to the why. Why me? It's a question that I hear from my patients every day. We happen to be living in the United States through a very challenging time for the human body. Between genetically modified foods, pesticides on many of our foods, chemicals in a lot of our products, and for me, I think the biggest killer, stress. Um, I believe it is the perfect storm of events that allows for that body to get sick. It's never just one cause. It's the culmination of events at that one moment where there's a weakness and boom, it gets the best of us. As a practitioner, the why someone gets sick happens to be a very important piece of the puzzle. But more importantly is allowing that person to get their power back, to make them realize that they could be active and participate in not only getting their health back from disease, but then staying well. We practice evidence-based medicine. Right? We use science to make decisions on how to help people heal, and that has served us well. The problem is that our environment is so toxic to our human beings right now that the research can't keep up with the problem. We have to shift the paradigm of medicine to be about prevention, and that's what I propose we do here today. For me, I have decided to dedicate my life to preventing illness, to being a prevention partner for my patients. I need help doing that to fund research that will literally get prevention on the forefront of the medical industry, which is what we need. So I decided to go back to school and get my PhD MD. And I have partnered with an amazing mentor, Dr. George Einstein, who also feels just as passionately as I do about the prevention of disease. Dr. Einstein and I believe that we need to get published data to show that prevention is the key. We have science to show vitamin D prevents cancer, iodine reverses breast disease, frankincense oil, sacred frankincense, cures breast cancer in animal models. We have individual studies to show these things can make a difference. Can one make the difference for you? I don't think so. What I know is we need to integrate that into a protocol that helps women take their power back and prevent this disease. So I chose the breast prevention protocol to be the first of many integrative protocols that we study. And the reason for that is I grew up on Long Island and there isn't anybody who grows up on Long Island that doesn't have a little fear in the back of their head about breast cancer because it is just everywhere. The younger and younger women that I'm seeing is terrifying. It's, um, it's unacceptable. This research will take women and have an objective measure using a non-invasive test known as digital infrared thermography. We will then put them on a protocol of known things to reverse breast cancer. Vitamin D, iodine, Boswellia sacra, and we will be doing genetic testing for the MTHFR gene mutation, which many people have. This gene mutation makes it hard for your body to detoxify. Now, if toxins are a contributor to why we get cancer, and you have genes that make you an impaired detoxifier, we need to know about that. That genetic mutation, if you know you have it, there are nutritional, simple nutritional steps that can be modified, and it would be as if you didn't have it anymore. Wouldn't you need to know that? Don't you want to know that? All of these things have been proven in studies individually to reduce the risk for cancer, but we have a huge endeavor ahead of us. It has not been shown what happens when you do them all together. What happens when you give a woman a protocol of all of these science-based facts to implement? I wish I could take you to the moment where she could see her before and her after. 
where that woman gets to see the objective proof in those images of the change that she made in her breast to reduce her risk for breast cancer. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in this country. One in eight. Think of your eight closest friends. 40,000 women will die of this disease this year alone. We need to show 100 women in this year-long protocol. We need to document that before and after picture. We need to show that we have reduced the incidence that they will get that disease. That will make the difference. That's all it will take. Prevention is what's going to save lives. Prevention is where we need to focus our energies, our dollars, and every single bit counts. There is no big pharmaceutical company to fund this research. Mother Nature does not have deep pockets, but boy does she have the wisdom. So if anything that I said here today resonates with you, if you can connect to anything and you get moved by anything that I said here today, we need the dollars to, to treat those hundred women so that we can show my medical colleagues that they too can make a difference. Join our team so that together we can really make the difference and change the face of medicine. Thank you.